Are you wondering when the shows and attractions will be opening for the 2019 season in Branson, Missouri? We're gonna share that with you right now. Hi, this is Amy with TPF, Trips, Places, and Fun. And this is John, and at TPF, we talk about having fun and exciting family adventures. Yes, we do. And the 2019 season is just beginning in Branson, Missouri. It was like, boom! It was quiet and peaceful. Everything was fine. And then suddenly, tourists were everywhere. Boom! <laughs> boom! It, just, it was crazy, because in January and February, Branson's like a ghost town. It can be a great time to come if you don't want to battle crowds. There's yeah, a few things open. There's a card right up here, a video that you can watch on what to do in January and February in Branson. You can have a pretty good vacation if you come in this time, uh, this time of year. But now all of a sudden, it's the 2019 season and here we go. Yes, so things are just getting started and kind of Dolly Parton Stampede, in my mind, is what kind of launches us into the the peak season. Yeah, we were driving around and then we drove by there and there were cars in the parking lot and we're like, oh my goodness, yeah, it's begun. And it's uh, it's time and we, you know, people are coming into Branson and weekends are big. And so we're gonna go over several attractions that are open right now. And then in a moment, we're gonna go over some attractions that will be open soon. And in fact, in March is when really pretty much everything is open. But we'll talk about that in just a moment. Okay. So yeah, you mentioned Dolly Parton Stampede. They are back in business. Also, our two businesses, Escape Code and The Axe Game. Now they're open year round, uh, but now they're open more often. Uh, in fact, they're open every night and on the weekends. Mm -hmm. um, in January and February, typically they're only open- Weekends. In the weekends, yeah. But now we are open in the evenings as well. So. You can check those out. Um, also, um, Fritz's Adventure is yep. open year round, and so you could come see see and do some of the stuff there. Lots of fun. Samson yeah, at Sight they, and Sound. These guys are opening back up. I believe their first show is February 28th. By the way, check all of these dates. Double check before you make any final plans. And I don't know if we told them what today is, but today is February 25th. 2019. 2019. So as of today, we're talking about things that are open right now or opening within the next couple of days. Right. And by the way, if you're watching this video like a year from now, the principles remain the same. Branson kind of works on a fairly predictable cycle. So what we're sharing with you with, you know, maybe not some of the specifics, but the concepts, the ideas are going to remain the same. All righty, so some of the other stuff that's open, Legends, that's a show where you can see maybe an Elvis impersonator or um, who else do they have? Blues Brothers. Michael Jackson. Bunch of different impersonations mm -hmm. from, you know, old time favorites. Right. So we got? Titanic, they're open year round. Yep, Titanic Museum is awesome. The Grand Jubilee. So these guys are open most all the time. Right, I think they take a week or two off after the big crazy Christmas season in Branson. Yep, we got Ripley's Believe It or Not. Helicopter tours. That is something we have not we tried. We have not done that. Do you I, wanna do that today? I don't think I would enjoy a helicopter tour myself, but there are, are Imagine sure the, there are some of you out there who would. The video that we could get and we could create an epic TPF video. You hey, are, if you want both of us, not just me, if you want both of us to go on a helicopter tour in Branson, Leave some comments down below and we'll get some amazing video. I, even if people comment, no, com <laughs> I will not go on that. Like, I'm sorry comment. to break it to you. <laughs> comment and pers persuade her. I cannot be persuaded. Sorry to say. All right. So something else that's open is Bigfoot on the Strip. What's so that? this thing that flings you through the air. Right. Well, and they also have an they arcade. They have mini golf and an arcade. Yes. 5D theater. Yeah. A bunch of stuff like that. So uh -huh. fun stuff to do on the Strip. Right. Let's see. Promised Land Zoo, that's a great, that's a great place to Yeah, you can kind of get up close and personal with exotic animals, right. so you can, you can do that. You can hold them and pet them and cuddle them. Well, I don't know about cuddling. Some of them are like snakes and, you know, you can, giraffes and, <laughs> but you can pet a lot of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, the Butterfly Palace. Yep. Hollywood Wax Museum. Yep, the zip lines. Zip lines and the snowflakes. Oh yes, you, you can go inner go inner tubing down a mountain, kind of like you're um, on sledding down a hill, mm -hmm. and only you get to do it any time of year. Any time of year, it's with great. or without snow. With or without. I don't even know if they can do it with snow. <laughs> can you go uh, snow tubing when there is snow? We that don't know. Would be we so don't know the answer to this. Hey. 
Comment, <laughs> comment down <laughs> below if you know. Can you go on the Snowflex if there actually is snow? Who re- would know this? I think the only people that would know are people that work at the Snowflex. The reason I'm wondering about this is you're flying pretty good, but you're on a, uh, there's resistance on, you know, on the, uh, the, mat, the surface the, that you're going like down. It's like a giant mat. I if don't there's know. ice and snow on there, you're going to kill yourself. No, no. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who would know the answer to this, but if for some reason you know whether you can go on the snowflex in the snow, <laughs> let us know. That's so interesting. <laughs> it's probably more interesting to us than the people that's that are true. watching right now. Okay, so we can move on to our okay, next category. So, so there, are, there are other attractions and shows that are open right now. But those this are some great ideas. Gives you just a, kind of an idea. That's yeah, right. Okay, for what's right now. Now, what's new in 2019 Ooh, we have some new and exciting things coming to branson in 2019 maybe we'll do a separate video on this at one point with some b-roll and stuff yeah yeah but we will go through this list of things that are new in 2019 so th- there's a brand new crazy ride that's coming to the track and i believe it's coming to the track that's near walmart on 76 kind of in that zone and it's this it's called the skyscraper and it's this freaking crazy swing i mean gigantic massive it's, it's another gonna... thing you'll, you're going to be able to see from all over branson just like the branson ferris wheel yep. that the track has they're doing another attraction that will also be seen from all over branson right and so that's coming we also have andy bees which opened up last year late last year yeah so it's down at the landing and it's like boutique bowling right yep and then wonderworks is coming the upside down house we and love Wonderworks. They have one of these in Pigeon Forge and in Orlando. It's super fun. So Myrtle we're excited. Beach, right? We were yeah, there. We saw one there. I believe there. there's one in Myrtle Beach. So yeah. we're really excited. We're getting this in Branson this so there's year. there's ropes courses and kind of some science-y kind of stuff in there. Yeah, and I think they're probably, I think their target is the fall. So they probably won't be here, you know, until later in the year. Okay. But um, next, the National Enquirer Museum, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's coming. And so don't even know what that's gonna be like, but. We're excited to check it out when it opens. So sure. that'll be right there on 76, I think, across from the Wax Museum. Mm, somewhere in there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yep, I think you're right. And then Jimmy Buffett's Land Shark Bar and Grill just opened like a few days ago. So this is also at the landing. So I don't know, a Land Shark, I would think maybe seafood and steak? I would Not exactly sure we haven't land. eaten there yet. And, and shark. shark. Yeah, just off the top of my head, I'm thinking seafood and steak. I don't know the answer, though. We will see if I'm right. Sorry but about we have, that. Yeah, we haven't eaten there yet. All right, next is Mellow Mushroom and Dude's Daiquiris. And that's also coming to the landing. Yeah, Mellow Mushroom is pizza. It, yes. It's, it's, I guess it's a pretty well-known. Like a specialty pizza. Pizza chain. So, yeah. So, that'll be there at the landing as well. And also coming to the landing is Paula Deen's Family Kitchen. I'm ready for that one. That sounds yeah, good. Yeah, and it's like family-style dining. Mm-hmm. So, that'll be pretty cool. Yep. Um, so, we got some new things coming to Silver Dollar City that this we're really excited about. Lots of fun. The year of shows and festivals. And so, I, I, I heard there's like a million-dollar pirate production. Ooh. That sounds cool. Super cool. We have our season passes, so we are excited to check that out. And they're also going to have pumpkin nights at Silver Dollar City. So this is something new that they're Brand doing. New. Staying open later for the during the fall, fall the harvest kind yeah, of season. Yeah, and they'll have pumpkins and stuff like that. So that should be interesting. Something right. a brand new thing they're doing. And at Silver Dollar City, by the way, the Lost River of the Ozarks. Talking about what's new, that's gone, and there's construction happening on that site. Rumor is it's going to be a brand new, like state of the art kind of water, river, right. river ride. Like water. the one at SeaWorld called Infinity Falls. That's just a guess. People are, you know, at this That's stage the, of the game, rumor. People are guessing. So we'll see. And someone just said that in the parking lot outside of Silver Dollar City is a prototype that they're testing right now. Ooh, mm. cool. All right, and then just as a bonus, something that's coming hopefully in 2020, would be the aquarium at the boardwalk. So this is an amazing, huge aquarium, and the outside of it is supposedly going to be shaped like an octopus. Yeah. So that'll be very, very cool. All right. And so... Yeah. Lastly, we're going to talk about (laughs) when is most everything open, and we're going to give you a few dates here. Go ahead and kick it off with uh, Silver Dollar City. Silver Dollar City, their opening for the 2019 season is March 13th. It's right around the corner. Yes, right around the corner. So come and join us. It's so fun. We can't wait to use our season passes. And Are you inviting them to join us at Silver oh, Dollar City? Do, do we have enough subscribers yet for a meet and greet? I don't think so. Okay. Sir Willow. <laughs> Y'all need to follow Sir Willow. 
and he's I think he's approaching 30,000 subscribers. He's local and he's big into theme parks and he worked at Silver Dollar City and Disney World and uh, Bush Gardens. And he has meets and, meet and greets at he Silver Dollar City. Meet so goals, honey. He had one goals. he had one at Disney World we watch or at uh, Disney Springs. Yeah. He had a meet and greet. I was watching it. And so one of these yeah, days. Yeah, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Y'all help us. Sir yeah. In fact, if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe. Yeah, right here. Because we have goals. And <laughs> this is one of them to one day have a meet and greet. Where people actually want to hang out with us. <laughs> all right. So go on. You can move on to the next okay. one. And by the way, again, make sure you double check all these dates. Um, let's see. The showboat Branson Bell, I believe the first cruise is on March 7th. Cool. That's so much fun. Yep. We've got the Irish Tenors, one, just one of the shows. Uh, March 1st, Sons of Britches. That's at the IMAX. Britches. Britches. That's at the IMAX. And we have not seen this one, but we have heard great things. It's supposed to be funny musical stuff. Yeah, also March I 1st. They, I think they take requests. Okay. So comedy slash music, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then the Hughes Brothers, uh, March 2nd. Yep, Bald Knobbers, one of the originals, March 20th. Buckets and Boards. One of our favorites. And our, they are at the Legends this year, yeah, correct? Yeah, the Legends. The, uh, Dick, Cla the, is that the Dick, Dick Clark, Clark Theater, Theater, where the Legends is. Or, um, so Buckets and Boards, where the Legends are. I don't know. Is or are. We Ooh, don't know. Leave comments below. <laughs> if you need to correct our grammar, <laughs> comment down below. Um, so anyway, Buckets and Boards will be opening on March 13th. Then Clay Cooper, March 8th. And the Duttons on April 18th. So as you We're can not see. Done. I got oh, scroll. we have more. There's, <laughs> There's, There's more. more. I, gotta, I, I gotta scroll my notes right up here. All right. <laughs> Jim Stafford, March 28th. The Presleys, March 8th. Shepherd of the Hills Outdoor Drama. That's gonna be in May when it gets warmer, May 18th. Yeah, that's an evening drama, so you probably wouldn't want to be out after dark in March. It would be pretty right. cold. Now, the Petersons, we haven't seen them yet, but I've really wanted to. They're bluegrass. Kind of a young family. Yeah, we've met them though, and uh -huh. they're super nice. They came to the Axe game, didn't they? They, they did. They, yes, they did. Them. Yeah, and that's March 5th. And then Whitewater, of course, it has to be summer for that. That's right. May 25th. So as you can see, there's a ton of stuff opening the first and second week of and this March. This is just a little bit of it, but there's a little so bit. Much there's more. so much. And then a few more things opening April and the rest of it opening May. So, you know, it is time to come to Branson. If you it haven't is. made your plans, do it now and get out here because. We'll have fun without you. No, 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 no. We won't have fun without you. <laughs> oh, no, I see where you're going with that. I, I want to have fun with them. <laughs> we can have fun. Oh, together, right? <laughs> are, you are you planning a meet and greet? <laughs> a, meet, a meet and greet. If you want a meet and greet, leave comments below. I don't know what John is talking about, but anyway, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified of future videos. If you are currently rolling your eyes and wondering why you're even watching this long, still give us a thumbs up because we need your help. And we need more subscribers so we can have a meet and greet. Yay! Woohoo! All right, everybody, safe travels.